It's a Monday night. Andrew and I just finished work and we are getting ready to go out on a little date night adventure in Brooklyn. This past weekend, we didn't go anywhere, although we planned to, but the weather was so cold, it was raining. So we just kind of cozied up all weekend. That's why we are doing something today, despite it being a work day. But you know what? It is less crowded when you're out on Monday nights. So that's a big plus. We're gonna go get some food, some drinks, maybe get a little evening skyline view of Manhattan. So let's go. resting on my laptop keyboard because I don't want to be holding my camera up and have people see me filming at work. Hence why you're at this angle, but I'm just gonna go like this so I can hide my double chin. 
I've been in back-to-back -back calls all morning at work, but I was able to enjoy a little bit of peace this morning before work. I went to a coffee shop in the Midtown area near Times Square. I usually don't do anything before work if I have to come into the office, but I feel like I want to start doing that more, just like going to a cafe and enjoying a little bit of downtime before chaos starts at work. It's noon now, so I have to go get some lunch. I'm really hungry because the croissant that I had this morning at the cafe was not good at all. So all I've had this morning was coffee and water. So I'm gonna eat some lunch. Um, and because my next meeting isn't for another couple of hours and I really need to get some fresh air, I think I'm gonna go and walk around outside. For lunch, we've got black bean and mango salad mac and cheese, a big green salad with no dressing, and two barbecue ribs hidden right here. Made it to Central Park. I'm gonna walk around a little bit here. All the leaves are bare. And also, look at me. I'm not even wearing a jacket or a coat because it actually stormed last night. So today's weather is in the 50s. Feels really nice. It takes about 20 minutes for me to walk here from my office, which is not super close. But what I've learned is that I'm very lucky to live here in New York City. And even though I've been here for almost three years now, I still think it's super cool that I live here and that I work near here and Central Park is kind of just like that iconic part of New York City that people always come to from all over the world. So while I still live here in this big beautiful city, I want to make sure that I come here often and see it in all seasons if I can. and happy Thursday. I am currently in Brooklyn walking to a collage making class that my friend Bree, who appeared in my last couple of vlogs, uh, invited me to. I actually haven't seen her in a while because she moved to a different department temporarily and so she's fully remote. And plus it was the holidays so I really didn't get to see anyone. Very excited though because I do miss her and I think we're gonna be making vision boards which is pretty much like the perfect way to ring in the new year. Cause baby love
to mention. All right, this is the most important for me. I don't know why it's at the bottom, but effort. This year, it's less thinking and more doing. Okay. That's 100%. Okay. Um, also, um, knowing that I have people that love me and letting them love me. That's important for me this year and all years. Um, I will also say, so this one I chose just because I like the makeup and the hair and it's creative and it reminds me of a time where that was me. I want to get back to that. Um, yeah. Do you want to have red brows as well? I would. <laughs> yeah. Red brows, yay. Yeah, and just like, yeah, just being, not being afraid to like, be creative and yes. like express myself through my looks because I love doing that. Yes. And she's gonna make history y'all. Yes. Happy Friday. I just steamed some pumpkin because I made like a big batch of veggie soup this week and I had a bunch left over. We're going on a trip tonight so I figured it would kind of be like an airport snack slash just a snack whenever we're hungry. It's also very healthy which I'm striving to be nowadays. I wanted, oh no, it fell off. I wanted to talk about my vision board that I made last night, it's my first time ever making like a physical vision board. I'm not really good at it. Plus the magazines that they were having us take clippings out of weren't that great. So I didn't have too much of a selection. This is basically what it looks like. So just to explain a few things. Um, this right here is not me. However, I do have a hair appointment soon. I'm gonna be changing my hair back to black. I just figure I really wanna go back to my natural hair color and just get some more layers. So I'm manifesting a new hairstyle that I'll actually really like. This right here is a beautiful apartment and Andrew and I are actually gonna be moving this year. Not moving out of New York City, but just moving apartments. So I am manifesting a very, very beautifully decorated apartment. Up here is someone taking a photo of a family and it looks like they're on a trip because I'll be going on a family trip next month actually. So hoping that all goes well. It's been a, a while since we've gone on an international trip, all of us together. And then down here, I have a train because I wanna take trains more and uh, someone walking because I love to walk. I wanna to continue to walk. Um, it also just symbolizes health because that's something I wanna focus on this year as well. The event was in Brooklyn. They actually gave us some um, tea that is from a company based in Brooklyn. They partnered with them and they actually all gave us a bottle of chai concentrate at the end of the event. The brand is called Donna. And this is what the bottle looks like. So I just need to get some oat milk and I'll be able to make chai lattes with this. I'm still at work right now, so I have a few more hours, but right behind the camera right now is a pile, actually three piles of clothes, because Andrew and I are going to be in Guatemala. We're leaving to Guatemala today. Our flight is 3 a.m., so super late or super early, depending on how you interpret that. I've been wanting to go to Guatemala for forever now. I have been trying to figure out what I'll be wearing because the climate there is very different uh, during the day versus the nighttime. During the day, it's gonna be like in the high 70s. So I brought some summer clothes, just like tank tops and easy shorts. Um, we're also gonna be hiking while we're there. So I bought some workout clothes. And then at night, it's gonna be pretty cold because it is a volcanic region and so when the night falls, the temperatures drop drastically. It's gonna be in like the 50s, so I'm also bringing layers and a jacket. We're gonna be there for about nine days and Andrew and I are sharing a carry-on, so I had to be very strategic as to what pieces to bring and what pieces I could wear more than once. I'm not gonna pack right now because I still have plenty of time, but also because I hate when my dog Pika sees me pack because then he knows I'm going somewhere and that he's going to be with a sitter and you know, that might be kind of silly, but I just, I don't want him to know we're leaving him yet. I 
got an oolong milk tea, 50% sugar. I'm treating myself with a boba tonight. I haven't gotten boba in so long because it's just so expensive now. So it's always a treat when I get it. We just dropped Pika off at a sitter's. This sitter's new because our regular sitter that we love is still out of town, but they're gonna pick up Pika in two days. So if just for two days, we needed to find a sitter. We found one that's like in our neighborhood and she seems to be okay. Um, I am always a little bit nervous when Pika goes to new sitters just because I'm just a worried mom. And Pika's not always like the easiest dog to handle. He's got a lot of quirks. So it's just kind of always a little bit nerve wracking to leave him in the hands of someone new, but I think he'll be okay. That's why I'm trying to make myself feel better right now with this boba. So because this trip to Guatemala is gonna involve some hiking, I did make a couple of purchases at REI. And then I just kind of wanted to show you guys a few things that I'm packing. I'm going to be bringing these shoes, which are new. So maybe not a good idea to bring new shoes on a trip, but whatever. My friend Megan got me these as a surprise Christmas gift because I mentioned to her like a year ago that I wanted them. And she remembered I got these white Solomons which are technically a hiking brand. But nowadays, like these are so trendy. Everybody just wears them out in the city too. Ta-da! They're so pretty. And I actually got these shoes for my boyfriend as well for Christmas. Not this exact same color. And he said that they're super comfortable. I love like the color detail up here. From REI, I got a packable down jacket. This one is a really pretty red color. This is a color that was on sale, but also I love the pop of color. I didn't want like a boring black one. So I got this down jacket so that when I'm hiking I can wear this and it's also water resistant. I also got these running shorts. These ones are by On Cloud or I think it's called On now the brand um, but I love like the two-tone color of these so it's got a darker green and then kind of like a mint green. I'm excited. Last thing I got was this romper or more like an overall from Free People. It's in this black denim color but I'm gonna use this as a swimsuit cover-up but also it's good to pair with like a white t-shirt underneath as a cute little outfit as well when you're just strolling around the town exploring and it's a little bit baggy so it's gonna be super comfortable it's also got some pockets too okay I'm gonna get to packing the rest of my stuff now I'm so, so excited. Guatemala has been a dream destination for me for a while now, so stay tuned for all my vlogs there. And thank you for watching this vlog. I hope y'all have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!